Welcome back guys. Today we're going to look at power up your muscles with yoga strength training over 45. 45 is just a number but I know all 45s are not equal so you just do your best. Okay we're going to start off on our tummy on the mat. Come down onto the tummy and we're going to bring our hands next to the rib cage. We're going to close the arm but squeeze the body with the arms and we're going to go from here into plank. Now you can choose, you can easy press into the hands and knees more difficult hands and toes so tuck the toes and very important you have to use your core and arms to do this if you're not going to do that you're going to use your lower back and we don't want that so and inhale press into the hands and toes engage your core and we press up into plank and we hold it suck the tummy in we're working on the arms, the legs, and the core. Make sure your hands are under the shoulders. Take a break when you need to. Like I said, 45 and up. We are not all equal. You do you. Now we're going to add a balance. Again, balance on the knees is easier than on the toes. So if you want to go on the knees, you go on the knees. Just make sure the knees are under the hips. I will show you both. First, we're going to do the toes. You're going to lift the left leg in line with the spine. Engage your core and then the right arm next to the right ear. So it's cross body core we're doing. Keep holding that or on the knees, knees under the hips. Same thing, left leg, right arm, cross body core, strong leg, strong arm, lock the elbow, lock the knee, suck the tummy in. So the lower back is not hollow because then the back is doing all the effort. Engage your core, flat back and we hold it. And right hand down, left knee down. And we're going to do the other side. So right leg up, left arm on the knees or the toes. Or you can do both. Suck the tummy in. Strong arm and leg. Hand down, knee down, tuck the toes and we press up into down dog, press into the hands and feet, chest and head comes through the arms, heels down to the floor, look in between the legs and we hold it. We're going to bring the left foot forward for warrior one, exhale left foot forward, stay in a high lunge come up arms next to the ears shoulders are relaxed we're on the back toes toes pointing forward and we sink down get this thigh parallel to the floor if you are a beginner you can be up here if you're not a beginner please be down here back leg is straight we're working into the core and the leg And exhale, we're gonna turn into warrior two. So drop the back heel, turn the shoulders to the side. Make sure the knees not falling and the knees over the foot. Sink down, come down. And look at the left fingers. Pressing the heel at the back out. Come 
Come a little bit lower with the legs. And we're going to go back into warrior one. Swing the back arm forward. And we're back into warrior one. Come low down. Getting the strength in the legs. Hands down, back into down dog, left foot back, and we're in down dog. And we're going to go to the other side, prepare yourself, exhale, right leg forward, and we're going to go into warrior one, and we sink down, back leg is straight. And exhale, warrior two, turn to the left, knee over the foot, press the back heel out, sink down. Back into warrior one, swing the back arm forward, on the back toes, sink down. Hands down to the floor, back into down dog. Hold the dog. And bring your knees, bring the hands under the shoulders, bring the knees hovering above the floor. Not up here, as low as you can, but not on the floor. Hold it. Suck the tummy in. The core is working, the hip flexors are working, the thighs, the arms. Hold it. And exhale, bring your knees down to the floor, knees together, toes together. We're going to go into child's pose. So the buttocks as close to the heels as you can, arms next to the body and forward on the floor. If you can't reach the floor, make fists otherwise head on the floor but don't be like this buttocks to the heels And inhale, use your core, not your arms, and slowly come up to the top. Tip of the day. As we get older, we lose muscle. You lose 1% muscle every year because the body is losing more muscle as you get older. Now, increased muscle mass leads to less body fat. It, it also leads to a stronger immune system, uh, increased energy levels, reduced stress, better posture, improve appearance so you do look younger, the clothes hang differently on your body because there is structure under the clothes, um, improve bone density which is very important bone density has got absolutely nothing to do with drinking milk 
cow milk that is, um, it's got to do with putting weight on the body and the body resists that weight. That is how you increase the density of your boat. So carry heavy things around, do strong yoga, whatever you've got to do, okay? And increase metabolism. So the more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism. I really like that last one. <laughs> So I hope you guys, this was a short, strong session. There was no difficult, it was simple, plain, but strong. Increase the muscle is just as important as keeping your flexibility as you get older. I hope you enjoyed this quick session you can do um, to strengthen your arms, your legs, especially the core. The core is very important as you get older. If you are new here, my name is Al. I'm from yogagangia.com. If you like this kind of content, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this, power up your muscles with yoga strength training over 45. You like this kind of content, please let me know and I will make more. And thank you for watching. Ariyom, Tatsat.